how Community College recently opened its doors to the new Health Science Building. Here to tell us more about this exciting new addition to the college are Mary O'Rourke, Director of Admissions for Nursing and Allied Health, and Georgine Butler, Division Chair, Health Sciences and Nursing Professor at HCC. Welcome, ladies, to the show. Thank you. Glad to have you here. Uh, Georgine, I'm going to start with you. Um, why did HCC feel that this was the right time and an important time to build a new facility? It's the right time because we are right at the in the middle of a growth spurt in our health sciences programming. And um, since 1970, we, when we began our nursing program, um, we've continued with healthcare enrollment, and now we're adding four additional ones. We were able to house our nursing programs on one floor and one trailer in um, our existing facility. And in order to do a great job, we really needed to have uh, a larger space. Larger. Yeah, and, and administration supported that, and the county and the state supported that, and of course, um, our new facility. And so what's the Health Science Building going to be used for? Uh, the Health Sciences Building is going to be used to house our existing programs and to also start for additional programs. The programs that we um, are adding okay. will be um, diagnostic medical sonography, dental hygiene, physical therapist assistant program, as well as a medical laboratory assistant program. These four programs will be added to a uh, nursing program. Um, a cardiovascular technology program, radiologic technology program, and emergency medical services. Wow. Yes, and, and of course, the, the Health Sciences Division is not only comprised of clinical programs, but there are uh, several components. Um, we have the first um, associate degree in public health. We are the first in the nation, and that's truly a, a big, big deal. Mm -hmm. Um, we're um, breaking ground in that area, um, looking forward to the time when we can say that we can get all the certifications and accreditations that the four-year institutions have. But this is a groundbreaking project for us and we're excited about it. So Mary, let me, um, let me turn my attention to you. What kind of student do you expect these new programs that Georgine talked about, uh, what kind of uh, student do you expect them to attract? Uh, we have such a diverse group of students at HCC. Um, we have students from literally all age ranges from 19 to 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. I'm finding a lot of older students are drawn to some of the health professions, um, returning veterans, um, wanting to, to start you know, a life again. I'm very committed for adult learners also. Um, that's very uh, critical um, because there are a lot of career changers. And some of the programs that uh, Dr. Butler spoke about are very, very diverse. Uh, for instance, the um, uh, diagnostic medical sonography will appeal to the person who needs to work um, because it's hybrid. So they'll have some classes uh, online, their, their um, lecture courses, didactic, and then on the weekend and evening, they'll have labs and some clinicals. And as it progresses semester to semester, they'll pick up additional days, eight-hour days of clinical. So at least in the beginning, they can start part-time. And then as you get very heavy into the clinicals, they'll have to kind of wean away. But it, it, I would think it would be our hope that they'll have enough skills um, to obtain a position you know, while they're finishing up their program, perhaps in the hospital or place of employment. So, a lot of these programs are to help students get in and out in the workforce quickly. And they're, although we are open enrollment, which means we are um, open to the public, uh, we allow students to apply, obtain admission. A lot of these nursing and allied health programs are very competitive, only in that there might only be 20 seats. That is the greatest need for this building, is to be able to teach more students get them out in the work the workforce. Work. Tell us about some of the partnerships. This is uh, to Georgina, but anybody can jump in. Some of the partnerships that you formed to make this program uh, go forward. We have numerous partnerships. Um, I think I probably, since we have this brand new building, one uh, partnership that we have 
uh, with Horizon Foundation. They were the ones who actually provided the funding for the um, new program directors uh, a year out so that we could actually build the programs and prepare for the students when the, with the opening of the new building. Um, we have a long-standing partnership with um, Howard County General Hospital. From uh, the very beginning of the first um, nursing uh, course, they were on board and partner, partnered with HCC to help to educate the um, nursing students. And of course, they have, with each of the other uh, programs that we've had, they've been wonderful in providing clinical experiences for our, for our, our students. Right? They are our neighbors, yeah. yes, and they have truly been gracious. Um, partnerships in and around the Baltimore, Washington area with numerous hospitals. Let, let's just go ahead and wrap up with, with this. How can a student, no matter what age, culture, et cetera, uh, find out more about the information and get, in, and get involved in all these major benefit programs? Well, we have a number of uh, information sessions, open houses. They're all on the website. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to come right to campus, um, just come into the admissions office. Um, we have advisors there that take students, um, no appointments, and we're happy to sit down with you, talk about your previous uh, schooling and what your goals are. That's fantastic. And that website would be? www.howardcc.edu. www.howardcc.edu. It'll be on the screen for us to take a look at. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, being here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.